Is it time to upgrade? We need a bigger system? This is how it's done. They take their first node with its disk farm. They take their next node with its disk farm. They attach those together with the binet. And now we don't have a symmetric multiprocessing system. We have two SMPs that are connected together and we have a massively parallel processing system, MPP. Teradata has all of their nodes in cabinets. As you can see here, we've got node, 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 and then we've got the binet boards, and that's the actual hardware of a Teradata system. What used to take up a football field is now going to take up what looks like almost a cabinet, and yet you've got hundreds of times the processing than we've had in the past. If we're getting a little bit more complicated, let me show you what a node really is. It's that server, and in that server, it is a Linux operating system, and it has a PDE in it, which stands for Parallel Database Extensions, which really control the binet. We'll hear more about that later. Inside the memory, that's where the parsing engines and the amps reside. You're going to hear the term VPROC. They're virtual processors. Where in the past, they were these huge processors that took up all this hardware. Now, they're just virtual processes in memory. The processes of the parsing engine are to take the SQL, come up with a plan for the amps. The processes for the amps are to do whatever the parsing engine tells them to do and read and write their data to and from disk. As you can also see, Teradata was born to be attached to a mainframe. That was their whole thing 20 years ago. Listen, I know you're doing a lot on your mainframe. We can save you a lot of costs and do decision support by loading every day's transactions to Teradata, and we can analyze years of data. So Teradata really started out with roots on that mainframe. But I want you to also see that Teradata has a LAN, local area network, attachments to the majority of the users out there, and that's the way they query these systems nowadays. So that's your system, and I want you to just take those fundamentals and store them right up here. Here's another fantastic picture. You've got your first node. It's the SMP. It's got its amps and PEs in their memory. Of course, they attach to the binets, which attach to the secondary nodes, which have their parsing engines and their amps. One thing I want you to see, though, one parsing engine doesn't control some amps, and another parsing engine controls some amps. Every parsing engine has to control every amp. You know, in your corporation, if somebody comes by and says, please take a letter, you go, you ain't my boss. All right, that's not the case here. When the parsing engine, any parsing engine says, listen, take a letter, they go, yes, it's just an honor to be in your presence. Now, understand that the reason that this happens is because whenever data is laid out on a table, rows from the table are across every amp. So if we're doing a full table scan, Every amp is always involved, and that's why this architecture is massively parallel, and that's why each parsing engine controls every amp. You know, how come there's so many parsing engines? If one parsing engine's really the boss, why do we need more? Each parsing engine can handle up to 120 sessions or 120 users at a time. That's why you'll have many parsing engines because you're going to have a lot more users than 120 of them out there. This is a fantastic picture to see, though, because each parsing engine that speaks is like the only one because the amps are going to do whatever that parsing engine says. So understand your architecture. SQL comes in from the user to the parsing engine. That parsing engine comes up with the plan for the amps to follow, passes it along binet zero or binet one. Those amps get it, get it from their disks, bring it back over that binet, give it to the parsing engine, and the parsing engine takes all the credit. You know, I did this personally for you. The greatest gift of all that you can give yourself and your company is the gift of the Nexus Query Chameleon, the query tool of the future. Click on the choice below to learn more about Nexus's amazing features.